Belfast and talk to our Ireland correspondent Chris Page. Um, Chris, you've probably seen the MEP Philip Lambert has told the BBC that the UK is poised to accept a concession over the Northern Irish border, that there'll be no regulatory divergence between the North and South of Ireland. Does that mean that the Northern Ireland will be treated differently to the rest of the UK? Well, what uh, Philip Lambert has said to the BBC is consistent with uh, a leak that uh, RTE, the Irish national broadcaster, has had of a document that apparently is in circulation. Regards exactly how regulatory alignment would work. Well, there's, there's regulations that apply to all sorts of things in Ireland. In fact, uh, people think that there's more than 140 areas of north-south cooperation. So that, that could be dozens and dozens of policy areas that would be affected by regulations. Everything uh, from agriculture, food produce, uh, to pharmaceuticals. So uh, you're talking about a massive uh, amount of policy areas there and as regards the, the very basic uh, uh, debate that seems to be being had in these negotiations all around uh, regulatory alignment, regulatory divergence or convergence, it is that that everybody with a stake in this, including as you've mentioned the, the Democratic Unionist Party currently propping up Theresa May, will be looking at to see if it's something that will satisfy them. Right. Uh, what, I mean, what do you think? I mean, they are critically important in this, the Democratic Unionist Party. Will they buy the wording that you have just outlined in terms of that draft agreement? There's been no official reaction uh, from them yet in public or just in just had a private. response uh, from the Democratic Unionist Party, Sammy Wilson, and this is about the regulatory alignment that's been talked about in this draft agreement. Um, they say, or Sammy Wilson says, it would be vetoed at Stormont. We have been very clear uh, Northern Ireland must leave uh, the European Union on the same terms as the rest of the United Kingdom, and we will not accept any form of regulatory divergence which separates Northern Ireland uh, economically or politically from the rest of the UK.